Hello everyone, it's Sheltek and welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a look at this brand new height adjustable standing desk from Ergear. This is their first standing desk and I thought it'd be a perfect option as I outfit my new home office in our brand new house. Let me tell you very briefly what the Ur desk is. It's a motorized, height adjustable, sturdy and stable standing desk that offers a budget solution to your home or office workspace. It has a height range of 28 to 46 inches, comes with three programmable buttons, allowing you to store different heights at sitting or standing positions. The Ergear desk also comes in three different sizes to suit your space, the 48 by 24 desktop, a 55 by 28, which we'll be unboxing today, and the largest size at 63 by 28 inches. So in this video, I'll go through the process of assembling this desk, check out the many features, show you how to use it, set it up as my new home office desk, and tell you if it is a good buy. As always, the timestamps and product links are in the description to this desk and any other gear I use in my videos. So let's dive into it. I first begin by unboxing and laying out all the parts and tools included with this desk. This entire 55 by 28 desk came in one box which was quite heavy so it really is a two man lift. What I like most about the Ergear electric standing desk is the price of course, ranging from under $200 to about $300 for the largest size, but also the ability to get the desktop in three colors, natural, vintage brown and black, all being 100% solid wood. I have to say everything was well packaged with no scratches to any parts, especially the tabletop. All in all, really nice, efficient and secure packaging. The process of building this desk was fairly simple. Ergear states it should take about 30 minutes and I was close to that estimation building this desk alone. Normally you should have two people building and lifting the parts. Although adding my computer, knickknacks and cable management made me add a couple hours to get my desk just right, which you'll see later. The only tools you are going to need for this build is your trusty drill and some Allen keys included in the box. All the little screws, dowels and odds and ends are labeled clearly and in order that you're going to need them, which is extremely helpful, especially for inexperienced builders. It also comes with a bag of labeled spare parts, which was refreshing to see for us absent-minded builders. The 12 page manual is not confusing at all and really helps you with some simple illustrations. So let me show you how I built this desk. As I mentioned before, everything is labeled in alphabetical order, starting with the A package of screws and the included Allen key. The first thing that we do is attach the legs to both ends of the crossbar. Once both are attached, you can move on to connecting the feet to the bottom of the legs. I used my feet to hold the crossbar and leg column up, but I strongly suggest you to have a partner to help you out with this part. Then you can flip over the entire structure onto those legs to work on adding both side plates using that trusted Allen key. Now here is where you attach the transmission rod. This rod allows you to get the desk to go up on both sides. This rod can be extended to reach from the motor to the opposite leg by inserting into the left leg and loosening the thumb like screw on the end. Make sure the transmission rod is locked into the left leg by turning the rod. You then smoothly connect the other end of the rod to the end of the motor drive shaft on the right side. Next, secure the transmission rod to the drive shaft by turning the set screw clockwise and using the tiny included Allen wrench to tighten the screw, making sure it faces outward from the crossbar. Next, I covered all the holes on top of the crossbar and side rails with rubber grommets by pushing them in by hand. Moving on to the wood desktop, it comes in two pieces. Using the wooden dowels, insert in the holes on one side and push the desktop together making a tight connection. To finish desktop assembly, I then used the four metal brackets and my favorite drill to screw in both sides of the tabletop together. The next step was to place the legs and crossbar very carefully onto the bottom of the desk, joining the two pieces with most of the running screws and using your drill. Next is to hang a hook on each end of the desk and you may have to break out some spare parts like I had to do after misplacing some of the screws. That spare parts bag really did come handy so I can attach the controller and plug in the power and control cables. Add a couple of ties for some cable management and flip the desk over and place it on the best spot in the room. Finally finish it off with a couple of table grommets and plug in using its extra long cable. Through the whole assembly process I did notice I left a lot of fingerprints on the oils on the desk but with a quick wipe with a rag and furniture polish I got it looking fresh and clean again. So after a couple of weeks of using this desk let's check out the controller. This desk has three settings that are programmed right out of the box but also can be fully customized to the user. The Ergear standing desk fits most people's height and the desk has a range of 28.34 inches all the way up to 46.6 inches high. But whether you are on the lower end, higher end or somewhere in between, this desk can be adjusted instantly to a comfortable height. To make this happen, the three settings can be programmed by short pressing this S button, the display will flash and then press the 1, 2 or 3 button to save your current height preference. 
and when I wanted to make just micro adjustments, I could press and hold the up button to the maximum height or press and hold the down button until it's released. Other settings include changing the display height units between metric and imperial. The Urgear standing desk also has a safety system that detects obstructions and rebounds to avoid damage to the desk or people. This collision sensitivity can be adjusted in the controller unit from low, normal, and high. All settings and customizations can be reset by holding down button until the screen says res. Now after spending some time with this standing desk, I really believe I have put it through its paces. As you can see, I like to have a lot of things on my desktop from an old heavy PC, a laptop, keyboards, mic, speakers, and a ton of knickknacks. Everything stayed safe and stable. This standing desk, which has a low capacity of 176 pounds, had no problem raising and lowering with all my stuff and didn't sound strained or slowed down. The desktop itself is very large at 55 inches and fit my space perfectly, giving me plenty of room for computer work and a service area for other things. I really can't believe there's another size bigger than this one. I'm 5'8", so this desk is a perfect size for me. At its highest height, it is too high for me to work, but would be perfect for people way taller than myself. And at the lowest things, I don't feel my legs being crushed in my chair, but of course all this can be adjusted for your comfort. The motor is pretty quiet and doesn't distract or sound obtrusive while working in my opinion. But hear the motor for itself and you tell me how it sounds to you. So some things I love is the fact that it has hangers on each side for headphones, cables, bags, or anything else. The cable management is good with the built-in grommets, so your cables don't have to go over the side looking messy. Although I wish there was some sort of cable management system included on the underside to help keep your cables all in order. I did spend quite a bit of time organizing and sticking cables, power bricks, and bars to the underside to give it a cleaner appearance. I know this is Urgear's first standing desk, and I hope in the future they offer more accessories either standard or standalone, such as cable management or a drawer to go with this desk. My overall experience with this desk has been great. This desk is awesome, it looks clean and professional. In terms of stability, I did notice some wobble with this desk, but I think most standing desks do wobble, especially at standing heights and if you're on carpet. But it didn't bother me or cause concern that something was going to fall off the top. So is Urgear's new standing desk worth it to add to your home office? I think yes, especially if you're looking for a budget option compared to some of the competition. A standing desk is supposed to increase productivity and add some health benefits. I did find myself enjoying standing while working to help my circulation and wake me up to get my work done. I really think it could be good for me in the long run instead of being in a sitting position for over 8 hours a day. So that was my unboxing, assembly, and my first impressions of the Urgear height adjustable standing desk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, check out an IKEA gaming chair review right here. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video.